Hello everybody, welcome back to Prissy Beauty. Today I'm here with a video for you showing how I contour and highlight my face, not on an everyday basis, but mostly when I'm trying to get a little extra dimension on my face using cream and powder products. So if you'd like to see how I did, keep a watch. Okay, so I'm gonna start by applying a primer all over my face, and I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Spe Speckle Tinted Under Eye, uh, under eye under makeup primer in champagne and the reason i'm using this is because it has a little bit of this glow under um that as a primer would be nice for <clears throat> under your foundation since we're doing this whole um contour and highlight so i figured this would be a good option so i'm just gonna apply this with my hand all over my face and even though it has a little bit of a this this sheen the shimmer it's not very crazy so I think it's a good call um, for for a primer okay then the next thing you want to do is apply your foundation so I'm going to use my makeup forever HD foundation my shade is in 123 and with a little foundation brush I'm just going to squirt a little a couple dots in here and I'm going to dot this all over my face Okay, so I've done my foundation, then I applied this um, Dream Lumi Touch in the shade Radiant on my under eye just for now. I need a little extra brightness, uh, brightness under my eye regardless, so I did that, but we'll do more. So I'm going to use this um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Neutralizer, and I'm just going to basically apply all over the, the face in the areas that need to be highlighted. So we'll do that typical triangle under the eye. And the product is not coming out as much. There we go. So that typical triangle here. Both sides, obviously. And you want to go down a little bit, almost on your cheeks, just to make sure that whole area is brightened. Like that. Down the bridge of my nose. Then you... Not having a lot of luck with my camera today, so... I applied the Lumi Touch Concealer on a triangle area right here under the eye. Down the bridge of my nose, and then I did this little tree here on my forehead, as you can see. And then right down here by you know the extent right underneath the the contouring area and then a little bit of my chin okay and then you want to do a little bit on your cupid's bow right here all right now as con as the the cream product i'm going to use for contour is actually a concealer in a jar by nyx and in the shade nutmeg which is a much darker shade than my skin tone and i'm just going to use this with a typical concealer brush and I'm just going to trace the area that needs to be uh, contoured. So I'll start with the typical area right here and you can use it sideways. If you have a foundation that's a few to tones like darker than your skin that's also a good option. Um, I happen to only have this concealer as a much darker um, shade, so I'm just going to use what I have here. But another foundation would be fine too. So down here, okay. Then if you want to contour your nose on the sides a little bit, then you go down the bridge, no, on the sides of your nose, like so. And you can come down also. Okay. On your temple right here, you want to apply a little bit of that product. And then on the other side. And your hairline.
Then if you want it a little bit underneath here as well, usually I do that with regular bronzer. So you want to do that here too. Then you draw a line and that basically completes the highlight. So now we need to blend all this big mess. Okay, I'm going to start blending the concealer separately because I, I want this area to be bright and especially under the eyes. I'm just going to use my beauty blender on the uh, pointy side and I'm going to blend this out. Make sure. So the whole highlighting area I'm blending with my beauty blender. Initially with the pointy side. Like so. Now I look ghostly. <laughs> Now, with um, whatever type of dual fiber brush that you may have, I'm going to use this one here by Coastal Scents. You can blend it out the, the contouring areas. So, like that. On the forehead and temples. And if sometimes it doesn't really respond well with the brush, you're more than welcome in applying with your fingers, basically. And then make sure you get the side of your nose. I guess I'll continue with this brush. So that's basically just, and it's coming out very light in the camera, but it's really not that white, if you like. Um, just make sure this area here is nice and blended, especially around the nose. You don't want any harsh line, okay? Now, I'm going to go in with a powder bronzer, and I'm going to use this Park Ave Princess by Tarte and you can start with a little blending brush like this and you're gonna just trace that same line that we used before And you can use that also for the side of your nose. Now with the regular size contouring brush, you're just going to blend this out. So it looks a little more natural. And then, make sure you apply that on the temples and the hairline. And down your jaw. Obviously this is not the type of technique you'll use for like an everyday bronzing look. This is more for a more sophisticated, you know, kind of look if you're looking for a more intense I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer right here because I have a little breakout. Um, 
you know, this is if it's you're really looking for a very heavy contouring technique for like a night out or something like that. You know, otherwise, for an everyday, I feel it's too much. But otherwise, you're good to go. Then, if you want to add a little bit of color, you can add a blush at this point. And I'll do that. Any blush, whatever you have and you like. And then last but not least, you want to highlight, obviously. That's what we did, right? I'm going to use this the Bomb Mary Luminizer and a little highlighting brush by Sigma. And lightly, because mine is breaking, right under your, like this C area right here. Down the bridge of your nose. A little bit up here. And that's it. So this is it guys. If you have any questions, please leave me comments below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time. Bye.